Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. The context menu in Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP is when you go onto an empty area of the desktop and single right click, you get this context menu. One of the sub menus here is new. I only have four items in mind folder shortcut, auto hotkey script. Auto hotkey is a piece of software I have installed. If you want to see what that's about, just see the previous video to this one. And text document, because sometimes I like to create quick text documents on my desktop. The first reaction by most people when they see how short this list is, is, wow, I guess you don't have anything installed in your Windows 7. Not true. I have a bunch of stuff installed. These are the only four I cared about, so I wanted to just see these four and nothing else. Now, I checked out a few freeware utilities. They are out there that supposedly help you to manage this menu as well as a whole bunch of other menus in Windows. They didn't exactly do the job I wanted them to do and also they weren't exactly easy I wanted a quick easy solution so I could just shorten this list up and the only way I could find to do that was with some good old registry hacking using the registry editor and I'll show you how to do that now what you do is you click on start and then run and type reg edit R E G E D I T and click OK and you get this this is the registry editor for Windows basically hasn't changed ever since Windows 95 more or less the same thing. What we're going to do here is search, excuse me, search for instances of shell new. Most items in the registry that are shell new go into this menu right here. So I click on computer at the top, edit, find, shell new. You don't have to worry about uppercase or lowercase, it'll find it. Find next and it finds the first one very quickly. This is AHK, that's auto hotkey, so I wanted that one there. And you press F3 to go to the next one. Now here's one that I commented out. You'll notice that after this shell new, I have three underscores. I did that. I just right click, rename. It was like this originally, and I put three underscores after it. Oops and uh, saved it, whatever. I got that error because it was the same name. Now if I renamed this back the way it was, like this, and if I, it should be immediate, no, nope, may have to wait a second for it to come back. Oh, there it is. Now if you notice, I have bitmap image. This BMP right here, if I leave shell new as is, then I get it back. However, if I rename it, it goes away. And that's lovely, because I didn't want it there. And then I press F3 to go on to the next one. Now these, uh, I have Camtasia Studio installed. Even though these are not commented out, they don't show up anywhere in the new menu. So I leave those as is. That's important. You don't want to just go in here and start commenting out all your shell news in here. You only want to do the ones that are effective in this menu. So I move on. And I see there's a couple more right here. Okay, there's another one, contact. Now this one, if I rename it back to the way it was, was new. I'm going to wait for it to reload. Contact. This one, I believe, was part of Windows Live Mail, the client. I don't use that. So comment out and it's gone. You get the idea. You just keep hitting F3 and you look for shell news that would appear in this menu. Keep on going, keep on going. Anyone that you see here that I put a uh, triple underscore after, like this one here was, what was this? Oh, Windows Journal. So if I put that back the way it was, yeah, journal document. This has something to do with a piece of software in Windows 7 called a Microsoft Journal, something like that. I don't use it. So comment it out, and it's gone. So you go on down the line until you find all the shell news, 
that apply to this menu and just comment out and you're good. And if you screw up for whatever reason, you can just go back and make it back to the way it was without losing anything, which is great. Now, if you want to find just the ones that you modified, we'll go back to it looking like this. You go to edit and find, just search for shell new underscore underscore underscore. You don't have to use underscores, by the way. You could use whatever you want. You can use 0, 0, 0, x, 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 z, 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 whatever you want. I use underscores just because it stands out a lot from the text. And anyway, it will only find the ones that you modified. So if you want to make every single one back to the way it was, you just search for all the ones that you modified and just change them back to shell new. Now, of course, it's a good idea before doing any of this to back up your registry. And to do that, that's simple. Uh, I think, where is it under? Yeah, file export. So you go to file export and you just, I already backed mine up here, and just put it in a place where if you do something totally dumb, you can just re-import the uh, backed up registry. And that's basically it. So it's shell new and remove the ones you don't want there. You can instantly test them live. You don't have to do any rebooting, which is fantastic. And uh, shorten up your list all you want. By the way, when you get to the ones that are for folder and shortcut, don't touch those. Don't do it. Leave those as is. Even if you don't want these here, keep them there anyway. When you run into them, leave them there. This is a uh, Microsoft system menu. Got to keep them there because it affects more than just here. Uh, I think it actually might affect other parts if you're in the Windows Explorer or something like that. So not exactly sure, but from what I've read, these are the ones you don't touch. The other ones, however, below this little line here, oh yeah, you can comment those out and you'll be just fine. Take it easy.